have been asking us about the upcoming fire season, which I understand because of what we just went through. Nobody wants to see another repeat of what happened last year. We're actually planning to dedicate on this show an entire week of coverage to wildfires sometime soon. So if you have any questions about that topic, use the hashtag Hey Dan and we'll get working on them for you. By the way, fire season is already starting in some of southern Oregon counties where it's been extremely dry. So the state's already starting to prepare for the worst. The Public Utility Commission, they just approved some new rules for temporary power shutoffs to prevent wildfires. PGE actually did this for the first time ever last summer. They cut the power to an area by Mount Hood in response to the extreme fire dam uh, danger and the high winds that were forecasted for Labor Day. And it did seem to work because no fires broke out in that area. Of course, that wasn't the case in parts across the state. An incident report says that down power lines sparked at least 13 fires in the Sandy M Canyon, which eventually, as we know, merged with the devastating Beachy Creek fire. Fire victims sued Pacific Power, claiming the power company kept their power lines energized despite being warned about extreme fire weather. Those lawsuits are still working their way through the court system now. In Lane County, fire victims are also suing two utilities companies over last summer's holiday farm fire. That broke out east of Eugene. They claim tree branches sparked when they touched power lines, and that grew into a massive fire. That's still under investigation right now. But obviously lawsuits like these and why they were even filed in the first place, these fires, those are something that utility companies want to avoid in the future, of course. These planned power shutoffs have become more and more frequent in California as their fire seasons have gotten worse. So in anticipation of another potentially bad season for us here in Oregon, the state sets some regulations around power shutoffs. Utility companies will still have the final say on whether they will cut the power, but they got to follow some rules to make sure, of course, that they notify the public, especially vulnerable people that could be impacted greatly by a power outage. And they have to report any fire that sparks from their equipment to the state.